Welcome back. Today, we are, unfortunately, swapping out the entire faucet because none of my local supply houses carry this. Um, most of them can't guarantee they could even get it in. Um, these are, I have no idea how old they are, but I would imagine they're quite old. So instead of spending a countless number of hours looking for a replacement, <clears throat> my theory of what happened is uh, it was loose. Somehow the screw snapped, it's inside of it. <clears throat> Everybody kept trying to turn the hot on uh, and it just rounded out the uh, teeth on here. So it's completely useless. <coughs> so now we have to swap it out. Well, hopefully that's easy. have to take this off. Backside of that, these two spacers. I cannot find any of our channel locks, so place grips it is. Quite a bit difference in the, the length of these, um, and we'll make up for that with this uh, brass nut and this clamp on the back side. Well, the real hope is that I can tighten this down by hand, and I don't need pliers. But the upside is, I think, when I tighten down. The other parts of this, it'll tighten it down as well, hopefully.
All right, so now we're going to pop these out. I got to thread it in from back here, backwards. We're just gonna climb up in the sink to do this. You know, you could almost take a bath in this. So uh, I'll get that in a second. And I can sit in there, put this one there as well. And then when we get to where the faucet fits and these are tight, we can tighten that on the back side to hold it in place so when you turn it on, it doesn't wiggle. <coughs> Got it. Okay. Luckily, it didn't bounce too far. Those are on. Nobody like Josh. Josh is just, just having a rough, having a rough time. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. Yeah, that's the other problem is I'm tightening it and the the knot on the back side is tightening as well. Okay. We'll see where that's at. <clears throat> Get this side back on. Oh my gosh. This could have been a 10 minute job when I dragged it out to the 30 minute job. I guess we'll know how long it's taken me when I'm done recording. Okay, let's see what our spacing looks like again. This side just a little bit, just a little bit, so we have still have plenty of room to play with. Just, 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 just on the cusp of two. Big for this one. Hopefully, it's not. Enough. All right, now. <coughs> shake this and the whole sink shakes you're probably good this now looks like I shouldn't need any thread tape because this should seal I'm gonna throw some thread tape on there just to cover my backside uh, plus it'll help it thread on a little bit better you know what, just just because I don't want to have to come down. I mean, I'm working this weekend, and if it's going to get used, it's going to get used this weekend. So if it is leaking, I can come down and fix it, but 
if I could do other things. <coughs> Where did I set? careful with the blue monster. <coughs> That's for sure. Beautiful. No leaks so far. No leaks down here. This is what I'm talking about is the uh, the air gap. So if you have a backup, you don't have a backup backup. So based on when I stopped it the first time and the second time, this is taking me about 30 minutes, which for not being a professional, not bad. Um, had I read the instructions, it would have been about 20 minutes and uh, I could have saved myself a whole bunch of time. But, reading is fundamental and I skip it. <laughs> this is, are you new here? This, this is welcome. If you're new, you're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video over here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.